Gilos OG 110. Bis. This radio has been the first restoration project of this series, originally done with the purpose of keeping the factory components as much as possible. The purpose of the project changed to bring radios to an operational condition, with all dubious components replaced if possible. In particular, this radio is now becoming a gift to a person who is willing to use it, and a little more care to the safety is in order. The original or old capacitors are replaced. There is more space now under the chassis, and a solder tag strip is added, to rearrange the power cord connection. The input power voltage selector was already not used from the original restoration, that space is now perfect for placing the fuse holder and an antenna socket. For the antenna socket an audio connector is used just because it has an insulated body, while there would not be enough space for placing a BNC connector, insulating it from the chassis. With a plate coming from a tin can, a small piece that would replace the former input power selector is cut, adding the holes for the fuse holder and for the antenna socket. The components are installed and properly wired. In particular, the radio will be used in the US, therefore a spade power plug is used, connecting the chassis to the neutral side of the plug, the power switch is now inserted before the hot power line. The volume potentiometer and power switch is inspected and cleaned. All the shafts are very short and, at the factory, they have not been prepared to receive the knobs properly they would easily come off or just lose the grip. The shafts are then filed to prepare the appropriate seat for the knob screws. The LED pilot lamp seems to be working correctly, without generating noise. However, as an extra precaution, a security capacitor is added in parallel as a filter. Some transparent plastic is used to insulate the chassis areas that, otherwise, might be accessible from outside the radio cabinet. In the end, all the tubes are replaced with new ones. The plastic cabinet is repainted. The front knobs, that were already not original, are replaced with new ones and the knob screws are covered with some insulation material. This radio has been blonde, for almost 70 years, it is now black and hopefully will leave for 70 more years. If you would like to contribute to this project, donating old electronics equipment or old radios, in whatever condition they might be, provided that you do not feel any attachment to that, or not anymore, that could be helpful for my next restoration documentation and video production.